So I wanted to do a, a quick video. Again, I'm trying a new format on these knives, uh, knife reviews, um, to try to keep them around five minutes. Um, so let me jump right in. This is a uh, Kershaw Link. This is in the blue anodized handles. These are aluminum handle scales with steel liners. Um, this is a uh, black stone wash blade. Uh, the weight on this guy is 4.8 ounces, so it's a fairly heavier knife. Uh, it is um, pretty substantial in the hand. Uh, so if you know you're wearing loose fitting uh, pants, you may not want to throw this into the uh, the pocket. Um, but if you're wearing something a little more rugged, you know jeans or cargo shorts or something like that, you know the uh, pocket clip uh, will ride just fine um, along you know that kind of wear. Uh, the let's see, it's uh, oh it's tip up left or right side. It's got a pretty uh, decent sized lanyard hole. Uh, the feel in the hand is a uh, very stout. Um, you know, you, you uh, can get a good grip on this knife if you need to really crank down on it. It does have a, a thumb relief if you're, you know, using it for kind of a finer, maybe feather cuts or something like that. Uh, it's not down on the blade, but it's back here on the, um, on the handle. Uh, it does have a choil with, a, with some uh, jimping on the flipper. This is a speed assist, Kershaw speed assist. The um, grind on the blade is a flat grind. Uh, it has a saber kind of cut, and it has a very large belly on this knife. Um, I like that. Uh, you know, there's some complaints with it, but I like it. The um, the aesthetics of this knife, you know, with the big belly and the you know kind of canted down handle, um, really kind of pushes the blade forward. So you know, it seems like it wants to be a good cutter. Um, the uh, Overall length on this is 7.6 inches, closed length is 4.4 inches, and the blade length is 3.25 inches. So, you know, if you needed the specs, you didn't want to go Google them yourself, that's, uh, that's the rundown. Um, the blade material is a 420HC. I'm not a metallurgist. I don't know if that's a good blade or a bad blade, but uh, it, it is what it is. Um, the, the real benefit, though, to this knife is the little flag right there it's nice to see that again on stuff so you know if that's important to you I know a lot of people it's important to uh, it's important to me I value that and that makes this a an extremely value high value knife um, if you're gonna spend money and you have the option to spend it in an American company why not I mean that's you know those are those are your brothers and sisters uh, uh, in this country why not uh, keep that money here um, another uh, another cool little thing about this uh, particular knife is right here on the uh, see the focus there. It's the 1776, right? So made in America, you know, the founding of the United States, 1776. So they seem to have that kind of theme going on um, with their knives uh, recently. They're using uh, significant dates and history for their U.S. made. Uh, flipper knives so I like that you know that's kind of a, a neat little touch um, the uh, the knocks on this knife are a little it's a little bit heavy uh, the balance of this knife keeps a lot of the weight in the handle though so if you're holding on to it you know the blade is kind of a thinner blade so you're not gonna have a lot of uh, weight stick you know protruding out from your hand if you're having a cut on this the weight is all you know center of gravity or center of balance rather is all back into your hand uh, I do like that. Another thing I like about this one is the tip on this is not very small. I mean, it's small enough um, where you can do, you know, some very uh, light tip cuts, but you're not gonna and you're not gonna feel like you're running the risk of snapping that tip off unless you're really just kind of cranking down on it, abusing it, um, as opposed to the dividend, which I've done a video on and I and I was kind of critical of uh, the tip on that particular blade is um, is very thin and to me that's a problem but I, I've mentioned that before anyway that's a quick review guys um, I like this knife all in all it's a good knife a uh, little stout but it's American made knife it's got a good cutting blade on it feels good in the hand and that's about all I have to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Throw comments in the comment section. If you think I'm doing a good job or a bad job, let me know. Um, I uh, value the feedback. Um, 
makes me a better reviewer and uh, in this day and age with uh, demonetization you know early 2017 April of 2017 with the demonetization going on with YouTube there's a lot of uh, content creators that are reconsidering what they're doing so you know a little bit of uh, uh, moral support is uh, appreciated uh, because the monetized support um, may not continue to be there so you know it's just encouraging to hear that you're doing a good job and people like what you do um, so you know the feedback is welcome it's it's uh, it's appreciated if you feel it's nice if you feel that it's warranted um, with that I'll uh, sign out you guys have a good day thanks bye